What's poppin' peeps? It's your boy Brady and baby Brady himself, of course, you can't forget. Fuck out of here, my boy. So today is the long awaited game hunting episode three. It's been about three months since we did the last one. And what is game hunting, you ask? Well, we go to retro game stores, try to find some cool shit, bring it back home, show it off to you guys. It's basically the gist of the whole shit. And today we're going to Lewis Game Shop. The OG Lewis Game Shop from episode number one. We're going to the same one. We're gonna try to find some cool shit. Hopefully we find some cool shit. Um, but first of all, we need to get some gasoline into the interior of my vehicle. Let's go get that. Got a full tank, baby. The drive is like legit an hour and a half to get there. So it might be a little montage. And just so y'all know, in this video, y'all are gonna be getting a nice sneak peek of a couple new tracks off my new album. Cause I'm gonna be playing it during the montages. So hope you enjoy. Alright you guys, we're gonna be there in about five minutes. And before we even go in there, I wanna, you know, tell you what I'm actually looking for, what games I want. Just like last time, Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. I can never find that game, I don't know why. I feel like it's super popular, but I can never find it. And I also wanna find Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb on the PS2. And also we're gonna be finding two additional games Thank you to a couple of the viewers who commented some suggestions for me to play. So we have Polynomial, shout out to you for suggesting Headhunter. I believe it's a PS2 game. So we're gonna be on the lookout for that. Shout out to you, Polynomial. And then we have, of course, a fucking regular on the channel, <laughs> uh, fucking H3Fan725. And these were are kind of requested a while ago. So I'm sorry, I'm kind of late to it, but y'all are getting a shout out anyways. And he suggested London Racer on the PS1. So we're gonna be looking out for those two games as well. And any new demo discs, of course, we're gonna be looking for. All right, peeps, we're at Lewis Game Shop from the first episode. This is the same store. We're gonna go in see what they got in store. And baby Brady, um, you're fucking staying in here. All right, I'm not gonna have what happened last time on game show episode one you you don't you don't even know what i'm talking about let me just say ethan was uh being a little little naughty All right, you guys, we got out of the store. We were in there for probably like a good 40 minutes or so. This is the bag we got, just this little bag. We did find some good stuff. We got some good finds. And I will say, I did find one of the games that one of the comments suggested. I did find one of them. And I'm gonna show you what I got when we get home. I'll see you at home. All right, y'all, we made it back home. Let's cut the bullshit and show you guys what we got today. Also, shout out to myself for not clicking record. I already showed the camera all these games. I was talking for like eight straight minutes and I didn't even hit the record button, bro. But first things first, we're gonna start off with the PS2 games. I got three PS2 games and these first two, really happy to have, really happy to find. We have two brand new Jam Pack demo discs for PS2 to add to my demo disc collection. As you can see, this stack right here, straight up all demo CDs. And if you know me, I am an avid collector of retro gaming, of course, but also like, like demo discs. I honestly really like them and any new one I find for PS1 or PS2, I'm gonna definitely pick it up. And I don't have either of these. These ones seem pretty interesting to me. 
Now, obviously, like someone wrote on this, the case of this is kind of deteriorating, I guess you can say, but that's fine, you know, add it to the collection. Now, when I was looking at the demos they have in these games, not too interesting, honestly. They're kind of mid-ass games. I probably wouldn't play it, but it is awesome to have for the collection. Now, shout out to both of the people who suggested me to search for a game and I was only sadly able to find one of the games and that game was of course Head Hunter on PS2. Now what was interesting is I actually found two Head Hunter games. I this is the first one and the the next one I had I found I forgot what it was called but it might have been the sequel. I don't know but I found two of them and I was assuming that he meant the first game so I just decided to pick up the first game instead of the first and second game. But here we have Headhunter. Also, one more thing I uh, saw, which was very interesting about the case, at least. There's this 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 M rating logo. It has a red border around it, which I've never seen. Has some text here that's like, yo, 17 and over. And then it also, not only, this is the very first PS2 game I've ever seen, have the old ESRB rating logo. As you can see, it is white, with kind of the textured outline around the M. Very interesting. I've never seen the old ESRB rating logo on a PS2 game, which here's an example. Here's the next game I got loaded on PS1. And as you can see, it has that old ESRB rating logo, which, you know, I think that's kind of interesting to have it on the Headhunter game. So we have loaded. I saw this game. I've, I've seen this game plenty of times in the past. I never picked it up, but you know, I saw it 20 bucks. The case is in relatively pretty good condition, which I like to look for in PS1 games. And so I just decided to pick it up. It is rated M. This is a game from what I get. It is a game about murdering people. And, and for the final game we got today, the most expensive game I bought at the store and one that, you know, honestly, I didn't expect to see, but I still picked it up anyways. And that has to be none other than Rampage through time 50 bones straight up 50 bucks i spent on this game the rampage series holds a special place in my heart especially rampage 2 universal tour on nintendo 64 my grandpa used to have that and i would play it all the time and i loved playing as ralph ralph is just my og monster in rampage you guys i'm not gonna lie so we have through time and honestly i've never played Rampage Through Time. I've never played it, so it seems pretty interesting. Obviously, it's kind of like, you know, they go back in time and shit. I feel like the third game in every series has to do with tra time travel. I don't know if that's just me. Crash Bandicoot Warped, for instance, the third game in the series has to do with time travel. <laughs> time travel. And honestly, man, this game just had to add it to the collection. Now, when it comes to PS1, I do not have Rampage 2 Universal Tour for PS1. Um, I really want to fucking get it. So you guys, there is the haul for today. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. And if you have any other suggestions, like if you want me to try out a game that you think is good, let me know down below and, you know, I'll add it to the list to search for for next game hunting. So yeah, that is going to conclude this video here. I am definitely playing a few of these games. I'm going to be playing these ones for sure. I'm just going to be probably throwing these in the stack. But... Um, Headhunter, thank you for the suggestion once again. I am playing this on tonight's live stream, just so y'all know. I live stream every two or every Tuesday night and Sunday night around 10 p.m. Central Time. And tonight's stream, which now that you're watching this, this happened like over a week ago. We're gonna be playing Headhunter on tonight's stream. And honestly, we're probably gonna be playing playing loaded. <laughs> Shit. We're probably gonna be playing loaded at uh, some point on a stream. So make sure to like turn the bell on and stay tuned because we don't just got banger videos dropping. We got live streams double a week, baby. Baby Brady, he can't really come in anymore. He actually had to go. He got called in once again. He is a hitman for the government. He's getting called in all the time to, you know, do assassinations on figures. I better stop talking before I say too much or else he's going to. He's going to fucking come kill me. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm being watched right now?